Welcome to our annual college besties trip. We are staying at the Excellence Playa Mujeres, and I'll be sure to give you guys my full rating and review at the end of the video. When you book at this resort, you are able to get complimentary transport from the airport and to the airport, so that was amazing. We got there, got our complimentary drink, and headed to our room. Here's a room tour of our room in Excellence Playa Mujeres. This is the bathroom. Shower. There's like a bench, it's like pretty big. Toilet. This closet's pretty nice. I'll probably go ahead and unpack soon. Look how big, well, let's talk about the mini bar first. You can take anything from here because it's all included. And, oh my goodness. That's nice that they have water bottles. Yeah. Do you want one? No. Nah. Area, look how big this bed is. <laughs> we could have all four easily fit on this bed. And there's a nice little hangout area, desk. That outside is so pretty. Day bed, you have a nice little um, view of the lazy river pool, and then there's a hot tub inside of the room, and you can like open up. Oh, this window, which is really cool. It's honestly been a very long travel day. Megan and Kaylin got like a bunch of delays, but I had to wait for them to, at the airport and I'm starving. Like, word to the wise, bring a protein bar to the airport just in case. And thank God Kaylin had one in her bag, but we are about to head out to get just like a late lunch and then we're gonna go swimming. This lamp is like very awkwardly here. Why is nothing focusing? Okay, there we go. Yeah, this lamp is just really killing the vibe of this mirror. Hello! <laughs> we are going down to see you guys. I want to see your room. Hey. Is it the same? We're here and we're doing our annual college best friend reunion. We just got to Excellence Playa Mujeres, thanks to Kaylin for finding it right. Did okay. I? I don't even remember. I think, I think you I did. Think nice. <laughs> and it's honestly really nice and we are going to have perfect weather, so we're excited and we're hungry so let's go while we were heading to the pool we saw this activity board there's so many things to do here there's like cocktail making classes tennis clinics which we did later in this week um and then we went to oregano which is one of the lunch spots slash one of the dinner spots and this view was insane like the water just looks so pretty preparing for the weekend a little water boy and i also kind of have a headache and I'm like, <laughs> this is the first thing we got. They just brought it out. Like, we didn't order this, right? No. Okay, what do you think? No, guac, plain chips are okay. Two out, like, two out of ten. Oh, no. Yeah, Not off to a good start. Not gonna lie, everything that we got was subpar. I think the best thing that we got were the fish tacos, and that was also average. We kind of just noticed that a lot of the lunch places were not amazing i think the dinner options were a lot better um but we'll get into that later guys there's a little ice cream machine just like right next to the bar yeah let's mix it sure They had multiple bars scattered across the resort. I highly recommend bringing a bunch of ones so that you can tip your bartenders and the staff. And honestly, half the time I just asked them to make me something with tequila, something that's like sweet and refreshing. And they always made me something different. So I got to try out a bunch of new drinks and a bunch of new shots, which was really cool. We took a little dip in the pool and then got back to our rooms to get ready for the night. This is more comfortable for me, but I oh. can... I Maybe mean, not comfortable is not the right word. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think the other so one... My, my butt was literally out. It was. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> we're trying to do uh, like color coordinating colors. Basically one uh, senior... What's it called? Formal? We were... Oh my god, it was so It bad. was horrid. <laughs> it was horrid. <laughs> One was like in highlighter yellow. I was in like bright orange. Somebody was in black floral. Me too. <laughs> Who was in the other color? I don't even know. It was so bad. Um, okay, what do we decide? It's fine if I have to wear the short one. I think it's more fun. It's, it's also fine if I have to wear it. You guys are wearing the dresses. Somebody pick for me. I can't. Wait, which one did you say you like? This one or that one? That, one's, that one's better for this area. area. 
This one's better for my Wait, chest. Wait, so, and then, so. Most of them are, like, comfortable. So, you wear this, I wear this. Yes. Oh, that works. Right? Okay. Yes, that's And if I wear this, you would wear the short one? Yeah. Yes. Because those are satin. Okay, right? well, maybe I'll just Should we, like, all sit like, next to each other and see? Like, <laughs> should I get dressed? Yeah, get dressed. I'll just wear that one. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. We'll both be more comfortable. Yeah, that, that makes. What? That's fine. Now Megan wants to play it. I'm going somewhere different. That and that, yes. Wait, but that and the short dress don't look. But even this and this, I feel like, or this and that, also looks like I'm I'm going somewhere. Wait, wait. No, because I feel like that plus the colorful one are kind of like. Wait, this is crazy how literal exact they are. Same company. Yeah, and they're just different styles. That's funny. Why do you need to buy both of them? Are you gonna return one? Yeah. Okay, that's smart. Yeah. Why would I need both? Yeah, I don't know. Night one, we went to the French restaurant on the property called Chez Isabel. This food was a lot better than the lunch food that we had earlier. Um, but one thing to know is that the portions, especially for the appetizers, are very small. And we wanted to split a bunch of plates just so we could try everything. Um, so maybe if you're with a bigger group, just get like two appetizers. But the entrees were pretty normal size. Our favorite thing was definitely the steak that we had and desserts were also great. Y'all, it is... 740. I was honestly planning on waking up a little earlier. I want to just like get in a workout, get it over with, and I'm meeting my friend Charlotte. It is so foggy out. Well, not foggy out. It's just humid. The only restaurant that you have to make a reservation for is Spice, which is like the hibachi sushi restaurant. I think you can just eat at the sushi restaurant, but if you want like the full hibachi experience, you have to make a reservation. So Charlotte actually just went to go to the concierge because new reservations open every Sunday, and today's Sunday, so we got lucky, um, so I think we got a spot. But every other restaurant is walk-in, and last night at the brunch restaurant, we didn't have to wait at all. We did go, actually, a lot later. And when we first arrived to the hotel, we were like, where is everyone? Because I guess our building is on the more quiet side, I would say. And then when we got out of dinner, this is like the theater area. Everyone started to like come out of it because the show was done. I was like, oh, where were these people hiding? <laughs> so maybe we'll see more people today. Maybe they all got in yesterday. Here's the fit of the day, my new slash old aloe set because I had to repurchase this because I forgot where I put it. Like, I think I lost it, but I just realized while I was walking here, there's still a tag in it. So right when we walked in we were handed a water bottle and a towel which was great because reminder you can't drink like just any old tap water in mexico so make sure you're drinking bottled water here and they have a ton anywhere you go you can just ask for a bottle of water the fitness center was great they had pretty much everything you could ever need the one thing i will say is there's not much airflow in here so it was super super hot and when we left the gym was packed like it's pretty big but not that big so if you do want to get in a workout i recommend coming a lot earlier just finished our workout we did legs we did a little bit of jogging walking and abs and now we're going to breakfast this restaurant was the kitchen table. This is where they do their breakfast buffet every day. I feel like the buffet wasn't great, but it also wasn't horrible. And I have been to an all-inclusive that was pretty nice. And the buffet was so bad. Like I didn't even know like a hash brown could be that bad, but it was. Um, and at the end of the day, like, you know, how good can a buffet be? I do wish there was a little bit more variety in the fruit, but they also had like really yummy empanadas and some more like authentic Mexican there food. There was also sushi, which is a little weird because I was just sitting out, but overall, like not bad i'm ready for our official day one would you call this day one officially or day two i never know <laughs> i feel like day one we didn't really even swim yesterday but here's the outfit i'm wearing a one piece from amazon and i'm a little worried about the tan lines because my outfit for tonight like it's just straps like this i think I actually have options for tonight and then this is also from amazon and the sunglasses are the celine dupes from amazon Oh my god, my earrings are from Amazon. <laughs> but I really want like a sleigh photo with my Canon G7X today. So we got the slip back hair. And we're ready to hit the beach because I think we're going to try the beach today. And in this moment, I was the happiest girl knowing that I would be by the pool or the beach sipping a pina colada all day long. We just had the most beautiful weather. We went straight to the bar and I actually got a kiwi margarita. They had a ton of flavors for the margaritas, but... 
I definitely don't recommend it. It was nasty. Um, but I did get a strawberry margarita after this, which I did like. We took this trip early March. The weather was absolutely perfect. And so was the beaches. I've been to Cancun in June, not Playa Mujeres, but another part. And the June grass or whatever the seaweed is on the beach was horrible. And there was still some in the water itself, but there was a lot of areas that you could just swim and you wouldn't touch it at all but the sands were clear of it and it was just beautiful overall. We ended up going back to the kitchen table for a sit down lunch and the food was pretty good. I would recommend to get the mushroom risotto and the pizzas. Crazy that my makeup like looks the same whether I spend like 20 minutes on it or Charlotte like two hours. and I were literally hours. talking about that. Like why, why? In college, we would take forever to I, get ready. Uh, Back then, I did think it made a difference though. Yeah. Like I was like, if I take my time on my makeup, I think it genuinely looks better. Mm -hmm. And maybe it's still true. I just don't give myself the time. Right. Because I just can't be, I can't Fun. sit in front of the makeup mirror for an hour. Mm -hmm. Plus. And I rarely do my makeup at night, even when I'm going out. Like if it's Friday night, like I'll do it in the morning and just like oh, really. Makeup. I feel like yeah. my makeup looks like shit by night. I don't know. I just like don't. I know I'm not gonna like want to do my makeup later than well, that's, two. Well, what sucks is then you have to take it off, and it still feels fresh. That's the worst. Yeah, that's true. When you do your makeup like right before dinner, and yeah. then you're like, okay, well I just look pretty for no, two exactly. hours, and then I have to take exactly. it off. Exactly. Well, and that's how I felt like, yesterday, honestly. Yeah, exactly. It mm. feels like you waste it. It's like the cheapest stuff ever, and I really like it. What is it? It's literally the Wet and Wild new tinted hydrator. I feel like you've always been a Wet and Wild fan. I have been a Wet and Wild fan. But this Does is it smell better this time? Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't smell like wet paint. That's good. Yeah, it says it has hyaluronic acid and squalene. I'm like, oh, okay, slay. Yeah. I used to always do the um, eyeshadow like on the lower lash line. Yes. And I don't really even do that anymore. It makes me look crazy now. And I agree. I feel like I used to do it. I literally was like ride or die. Yeah. For the smoked out mm -hmm. lower lid. But like when makeup artists do it, it looks so good. Yeah, I feel like this still can look good, oh but it, I feel like almost it doesn't look bad. It's almost just like really too glam. much. Yeah. yeah, like it's like, whoa, like, maybe that's what it is then. It just seems heavy compared to what's in style now. Definitely. Tonight our theme is sunset. Look at our options. I think we all kind of brought like a couple <laughs> options for a night. And this is what we landed on. I think this is probably better this than our blues, yeah. This night we went to the Mexican restaurant called Agave. We did have to wait about 30 minutes or so. Honestly, we were kind of sad that we didn't have more days to go explore all the other restaurants. And we were so close to trying to do two restaurants per night. But since we had to wait at this restaurant, it was kind of already late. And we were honestly really full, even though we shared everything. The best thing here was definitely the pork shank and the potato chimichanga. And the desserts weren't my fave. We're back in the room. So Sonali is so nice and she brought us these face masks and oh, we're having a face mask so nice. night. So yeah. Because we're so lit and we're like to... super exciting, right? Ladies. Oh yeah, these are for different things. Yeah, we're lit. What is it? <laughs> 10 20. <laughs> I know on the way here we were like justifying like why we're going to our rooms and not partying. And we're like, this is just us. This is just how it is. Okay, who wants to be hyper smooth? I if do be wants, liking that one. Who wants a clean slate? Okay, I'll take clean. I'll tease our sunrise. <laughs> so. It's like hard to say what those adjectives mean <laughs> in this context. I'll do clean slate. Okay. Thank you. What are the other ones? Are this I same? guess I'll do this the one. Oh, it was barely theirs. Oh, I'm back. Depuffing, brightening, hydrating, antioxidant. And this one is softens appearance of dark spots, promotes even complexion, revives dull skin, and boosts skin luminosity. I'll do this one. Not pick your poison. Which one, Char? You can pick. I don't really care. Mine is for morning calls, barely there. I'm like, well, we were so crazy in partying, so it's perfect for you. Yeah. <laughs> Look at this. Why is this so hard? And the side that looks textured because I'm not getting Mm-hmm. And he needs to lay flat. <laughs> Good morning. It is day three, and we are actually doing one of the activities here on the property. Um, Kaylin looked up at the activities, and she said we should do tennis, which honestly works out because I really wanted to work out again this morning. 
and this will probably be more fun. Also, yes, I am re-wearing my outfit because I didn't know we were doing the tennis thing and obviously this is the tennis outfit. And all my other outfits were like leggings and honestly, it's too hot for that. Good morning, good morning. I have a nasty backhand. Get ready. <laughs> well, I don't, so I'm actually nervous. I'm just kidding, I don't. Okay. I haven't done tennis lessons since I was like 10. <laughs> Middle school, whenever I hit the ball, I would drag my foot like this, and I tore holes in all of my tennis shoes. Oh, shit. After like two months of tennis lessons. Well, let's not do that today. <laughs> I know, so it's yeah. not for me. And I like my shoes, so I can't do that. I can't do that. They do have a coffee shop where they also have pastries, sandwiches, and ice cream. They can make pretty much anything. They also have chai and matcha, but they didn't have oat milk. My whole chocolate chip cookies. I've been waiting for those. Yeah, they I know. Very good. Yeah, wow, so. Dry. Got those. We could put them in my bag and just eat them later. Like a, little a little muffin. A little muffin. A little muffin. And then a cruffin. Hmm. Oh, Which cute. that looks pretty good. Yeah, it does. Yeah. This thing is okay. Cool. What if it's like tennis pros on vacation? <laughs> Probably is. Well, this is just a clinic, right? Yeah. I think I'm going to leave you Yeah, I do. Like, my boss and my mom. I kind of feel that way. You know I mean? Yeah, it, it feels, feels better. Natural. Yeah. This is what we learned today. Your arm has to be the height to hug up to scratch your back. All the way back there. And then you have to show him both of your booty cheeks to see that booty. Mm -hmm. And drag your foot. And that's Stunning. how you do your forehand swing. Stunning. <laughs> now we're gonna be tennis pros. Next year, we're gonna come back on vacation, take another clinic, and be so good. And everyone's gonna be like, wow, y'all play. Be like, this is a beginner class. Yeah, right? literally. <laughs> this morning, we had a sit down breakfast at the Lobster House. This was by far the best breakfast that we ate. I also forgot to mention that the buffet has a make your own omelet station, which you could also do here at the sit down restaurant. The food was pretty good here, and I would definitely recommend this over the buffet. We only knew about this the last day, but they serve fresh coconuts from 12 to 1 at the Revive Bar. I I think it's every day. Definitely check when you get on property. That's good. That's refreshing. Our favorite bartender is right there. Or we have Sergio too at the other bar, right? We have two best tea bartenders, actually. <laughs> <laughs> but this is a drink that he made us yesterday. And he just kind of made it for us. And Charlotte, she's going to pronounce it because she has a Brazilian boyfriend. <laughs> but I'm still not pronouncing it right. It's like a Capri I say Caprinha, but it's not Caprinha. They know what you meant, though. Like yeah. cap Capriana? I don't know. And it's really good. It's almost like a mojito, I would describe it as. It and have mint. It doesn't have mint? Mm -hmm. Oh, it kind of tastes, tastes like, like it. it. Yeah. It's just like cane sugar, lime, I think seltzer, and it's it's not, it's a liquor like cajacha. Mm -hmm. It's like a different. It tastes so I good. Know. It's like a little sweet, but not too sweet because Kayla doesn't love too sweet. It's good. It's refreshing. Yeah, very refreshing. Very limey. Highly recommend. It's probably the best drink here that we've gotten, mm -hmm. right? All of the other days, we did not get tipsy at all, and we were drinking a good bit, but this day with these caipirinhas or whatever they're called, they were dangerous. At this point, we were being savage. I honestly forgot to record a lot, and we were just swimming all day, but this restaurant on the beach, I have no idea what it's called. It was really good. We had some quesadillas, a really good burger, some fries, and tacos. We're all ready for last night. We're in our neutrals. And we're gonna film Sorry. our TikTok that we started yesterday. We didn't have much time to do the transition, so we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna hope that it turns out well this today. Okay, ready? Ten seconds. So all right, so we're all backing up and just we're all hugging. We're going to hibachi tonight. We're going to spice. If you couldn't tell, I was pretty tipsy going into dinner. Um, so this is the only reservation that you have to get if you want to sit at the hibachi table, but they also have tables just if you want like sushi and Asian food. If I were to do it again, I probably would have skipped the hibachi because you know, you can get hibachi at home, which I guess you could get any of this food at home, but I just feel like I wanted to try the other restaurants i heard the indian restaurant was pretty good and there was just so many other restaurants that we didn't get to try which sucked i'm also a big fan of yum yum sauce when i'm at hibachi and they didn't have it so that was a bummer but the hibachi itself and the meat was really good after dinner we wanted something sweet so we went back to aroma coffee and sweet i got a little passion fruit cone and it was so refreshing good morning we're all struggling here 
someone's sunscreen or just for It's only my side. back. And I remember saying my back felt like it was on fire, so that had to be something I'm like, yeah. I think it's my emotion. Megan has a rash. <laughs> Charlotte's lip is huge. You can't really tell. Oh, you can from the side. Like, from turn the side, side. you can. Oh, goodness. <laughs> it just like sticks out like a shelf. My neck is like, I can't even turn it for some reason. Like, it hurts really bad. Yeah. Okay. Well, you yeah. guys. <laughs> we had a couple more hours at the resort before we headed off to the airport. So we took advantage, went to breakfast, and took a little dip in the pool before we showered and checked out. But now it's time to give you guys my full and honest review of the resort. I'm in a couple travel groups on Facebook, and I'm not lying when I tell you guys that I've heard so much about the specific resort for at least three years now. Just so many raving reviews, especially about the food. They're all saying it's incredible, and I'm here to tell you that is not the case, unfortunately. I mean, it was absolutely beautiful. Like, the beaches were great. The pools were great. It was pretty lively. I feel like the entertainment wasn't our vibe, so we never ended up going to anything. I will say the rooms are kind of outdated, especially just, you know, with all of the new resorts popping up. For me, food is a huge part of traveling, and I know this was an all-inclusive resort, so you're probably like, what were you expecting? And I will say I am spoiled with great food here in Austin, so maybe that's why I just have higher expectations all around. So would I go back? Probably not because I would love to just see other resorts in the area. But other than the food being pretty average, there's not many bad things to say about this place. Mm -hmm.